Uh, I'm Samuel Liu, and I'm the project lead of the uh, satellite at uh, Paris Technology. Uh, as uh, Lauren just speak about the uh, Paris, uh, Paris has the uh, history uh, to build the waveguide antenna since the uh, former set one until the former set eight. Okay, let me introduce the uh, history about the uh, Paris technology in the marine time and the CubeSat business. Uh, since 2021, uh, Paris started to uh, invade into the uh, satellite business, uh, not just for the satellite uh, antenna build. We also uh, investigate the marine time and the fishery, industry uh, fishery business in Taiwan. And we found there would be a opportunity to get into the uh, industry uh, fishery business. So that is the uh, initial of the powers uh, two or three years ago. At that time, we talked to TASA and we talked to the NCU professors like uh, Professor Zhao, Professor Chang, and Prof uh, a lot to Professor Zhang, anyway. Okay, and we also uh, go into the uh, government sponsored project, such as the uh, ACU for the uh, marine time uh, UT uh, for the uh, satellite communication uh, development. And since then, uh, we expand the idea because we found there is a vision to uh, provide more products and the service for the industry fishery for Taiwan business. Okay, uh, as you know that uh, Paris has the experience since uh, formal set one until eight. We have the experience and the expertise in doing the uh, microwave antenna and transceivers from uh, below 40 gigahertz. And we also, the uh, Act as the uh, vendor of the Zhongwen Jiao Yong Ying Hao, Obuzla Ying Wen Jiao Jet Fighter for the uh, next generation uh, training jet, I think. All right. Uh, talk about the mission about uh, Paris is doing right now. Uh, as the Professor Chen uh, sp uh, spoke about, we focus on the uh, ocean chlorophyll detections with the uh, 3U CubeSat sponsored by TASA last year. And this satellite, we will launch it uh, the first half of the 2025, I believe. And there is a lot of challenges because, you know, the, in Taiwan, we don't have much uh, Chinese or the uh, engineers in the uh, space industries. And also, it's not only the products or the hardware itself. Uh, we face a lot of the, uh, what's the, uh, the, the, the knowledge shortage. So, Paris is not uh, talking about everything we should do it by ourselves. We would like to work or collaborate with uh, partners in Taiwan or partners like uh, fukuyo sans in Japan, or even uh, other countries from uh, Viking countries, anyway. Okay, uh, we have uh, coral uh, road detections for the uh, ocean remote sensing, uh, which uh, we were doing that. And the purpose for the chlorophyll detection is to detect the uh, chlorophyll in the ocean. Our target area is uh, separated into four different area across the uh, equators in Pacific, in uh, Indian Oceans, and uh, Atlantic Oceans. And this is to provide the information about the algae growing and doing the AI uh, algorithms uh, development for the um, marine time fleets. So we can talk to the uh, uh, fishery owners or the captains telling them, okay, the probability of the algae is growing and maybe two, three weeks later, you will find some kind of the fish. 
like tuna, like squid, or some other uh, economic uh, trade products. So, starting with the uh, UT on the boat, on the vessels, uh, we also look into the uh, unmanned service vehicles and unmanned aerial uh, vehicles. Uh, this too is to carry with the uh, ocean measurement equipment uh, in the futures. And also we have uh, buoyed uh, ideas in development right now. The thing for us to challenge is, is CubeSat and the UT communications. Uh, as you know, uh, Paris is in uh, microwave for years, and we would like to work with the partners to provide the next generations for the high data bandwidth, high data rate communication. So we work with partners to go with the uh, KU band, and we also work with the partners to have the uh, S-band for the common and data renderings. However, there are a lot of opportunities uh, for you guys to talk to me or to talk to Leo. Uh, he is also in the meeting right now. And we build the uh, ground stations. We do the software development. We do the data collections. And the whole picture is to give the idea about sustainability of the industrial fishery for Taiwanese. And talking about the uh, opportunities or the business-wise uh, uh, consideration is we believe uh, because we are private companies we have to find the way to where is the income comes from so when we look into the VDs uh, scenarios this picture is uh, in showing in uh, 2018 I believe okay here you will see those five countries Okay, constitutes 85 percent of the uh, uh, fishery harvest in the world. The largest one would be China, and second one is Spain, and Taiwan, Japan, and Korea. These are the 85 percent of the harvest. It's important for us because, uh, as Fukuyo-san mentioned about, about 34 meters larger than that size. Uh, estimated about 70,000 vessels in the world has to be equipped with the AIs to uh, go into the next generations. We have to collect the data like 22 billion message a year. And I believe that number would be like 30 terabytes a year for the AIs data. So we are building the uh, data centers with Microsoft Space, and we have a lot of, a lot of uh, people working on that purpose. Okay, next. This is an uh, idea about the VDS data, uh, collecting from the uh, vessel IDs, uh, positions, and course, and doing the data processing, and remove the uh, noise and we can have the idea about the vessels. Are they uh, navigating in the right routes or uh, in different routes? Are they smuggling? Are they doing bad things? And then we can have some of the uh, AI uh, on the vessels to find out how or what kind of the uh, fish they catch. Uh, sorry, this is two small characters. and. For example, there is a Mulas Balatus uh, fish that is across from the northern England until the Senegal in Africa. That kind of thing is to uh, maintain the sustainability of the fisheries. Okay, uh, in Paris, we are doing the uh, KU band, as I mentioned, and this is a two-way. And for us, it's a challenge because on the vessels, two-way communication for the KU band would be a big size antenna. However, we could probably do it in uh, less than a meter di in diameter. And we also do the uh, OBC and, and AI systems uh, to uh, fast uh, processing the data from the VDs and the uh, image. 
the image I talk about is the uh, ocean chlorophyll detections. It's a huge number, and because uh, it's too big, something like uh, you know, if we take the uh, plus and minus uh, 10 degrees across the equators, in one pass is about 2.3 gigabyte. So, to the downloading is a is a necessary and is a problem for us. However, we have the partners uh, from Norway, so uh, the downloading side from Svalbard and working with the uh, common data station with the Microsoft. Okay. And talking about the digital twin, because we only look into the uh, industry fisheries, so one thing important for us is, okay, this one, uh, he is Larry, okay? And in the middle one, this is Ken, the president of Paris. We have uh, memorandums uh, with the two largest, two largest two companies in Taiwan, uh, which they already have 250 vessels, I believe. And combining all those capabilities, you want to provide them with the uh, uh, service of the fish side funding and, you know, with these uh, collections or the uh, management for their uh, business. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Chen uh, mentioned that uh, you have a cooperation with PASA, uh, with 3U, but the photo you, slide you mentioned is 6U. Could, could you talk more, talk more about the 3U uh, trip set? Thank you. Okay, uh, in 3U, we have only one U for the OCI uh, because you know limited by the space and the weight, and the OCI is only for the uh, ocean chlorophyll detections. We don't do the VDIS in the three U project, not yet. But this slide gives you an idea what Paris is going to do with the next VDIS and uh, in probably three U, uh, six U, or eight U. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Thank you.